This video is about my overlanding loadout. This is the first time I've done this, so this is a, a little bit of a shakedown. The plan is four days, three nights in the desert with my friend Alan. So just the two of us, but still part of my basic philosophy here is I want the rear seats in the cab accessible to humans. That means everything's got to go in the back in the truck bed. I'd want to be able to do my whole family, three, three adults and a dog, or maybe even four adults at some point. Uh, I don't know if this is realistic or not. The one issue that I'm definitely dealing with is the kind of backpack that has your basic camping things that you want to have quickly accessible. Well, it'd be nice to have it in the back in the cab. Current setup, not like that. We'll see how that goes. It is important to note, you know, as, as long as I've been driving, I've kept a bag of emergency gear in my vehicle, and this vehicle's no different. People call it a get-home bag these days. I've always called it a jump bag. I also have uh, a trauma kit and some basic tools, an entrenching tool, an axe, a bow saw, things like that. Uh, emergency gear that's always in the cab, so that doesn't really count as part of this. I also have a box, this weather guard box that I use uh, usually uh, it's in here all the time. It has basic off-road recovery gear and it will stay with us for the trip. And then I built this custom box uh, to carry extra gear specifically for overlanding. Extra fluids, gas, extra water. Uh, it, it's going to be loaded on top of it as well. That's why you get these uh, aircraft style tie downs here. They're uh, quite a secure mounting system mounted to really a monstrosity of a box. Uh, it's, I put an awful lot of time into it. I hope it's going to work. Got lots of gear in here, but man, it's heavy and it's not dust proof like I wanted it to be. And we'll just see how it goes. We do have the KB Voodoo rail, uh, bed rail racks on here now that are. Uh, going to have some stuff on top of it and then the back here is pretty open and uh, but it's not going to be for long so let's get loaded up All right, well, we're all loaded up. I think it looks just like heck. All that junk just kinda floating there. Doesn't look clean and cool and nice. One mistake I made loading up, uh, all this back here does need to be tied off and I buried the tie down straps, but I didn't figure you needed to watch me unbury those and redo it. You probably didn't even need to watch what you already did if you did watch it, but if you did watch, I do appreciate it. I'll let you know how it goes. You know, there is some more capability on these KB Voodoo bed rails. Uh, I could utilize that space better, I'm sure, and may need to. As I said, I don't like the idea that the quick grab backpack is not very quick grab as well as the fact that that's kind of where I'm figuring on keeping camera equipment is in the backpack and now it's all buried so my system may not work but thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it